Okay guys, this is my second time recording this. Perhaps this just keeps screwing up on me. But here's what we're going to do. We're go I'm going to show you how to run your old DOS games, or files rather, through DOSBox. This video I know is often requested and there aren't that many good videos up about it. So, thought why not give it a shot. So first thing you need to do is type mount c space c colon slash to mount your c drive or whatever drive you're running this from so let's say my dos games are on my flash drive i would type mount c space f colon slash or a whatever the name of your drive is that's all this does it mounts your drive now my computer and i know this isn't a common thing but it does happen We'll still show that Z is your current drive, and you can't do anything in that case. So to fix that, just type C colon slash. That's all you need. Now, first thing you need to do is type CD space the name of your the name of the directory which your games are in. So for me, um, it's old. I recommend old or DOS games, something of that sort, but it has to be less than eight characters long. Eight characters or less, rather. Okay, so now that old is, uh, now that our directory is C old, for what we need to do is, if you're not sure what games you have or what to type, next, type DIR. This will give you a list of everything in that directory. So, in my case, it's 3 Demon, Blood, and Wolfenstein 3D. Now, some games will have two files, like Wolfenstein 3D. Um, for me to run that, I have to type wolf-3d slash wolf-3d. Whereas with blood, I do this, cd space blood. And it will change our directory to that. Now, what you want to do after this... Once you know that you're in the in where all the files are, your config files, stuff like that. First, what you need to do, as long as the game's installed, you need to run the game.exe. Usually, that is the name of the game with the file extension.exe. So for blood, it's blood.exe, and it will go through this. Look at your config file. Actually, one second, so this might be a good point, good time to show this. Um, sometimes, in the, like in this case, it won't, DOS doesn't, isn't emulating a sound card, so you can't exactly run it. To do this, run setup.exe, and it'll open up the blood config files. So in my case, it's this. Now, for this, I recommend just going through and seeing what you can find. Whatever works is probably the best for you. And sorry about that, phone was going off. Sorry about that. I'm back. Okay, so. You seem to be having a bit of trouble with this one. Okay, well that works. Okay, so what are we using for this? We're using an ad lib card, so choose none for sound effects then, because DOS can't emulate what we have here. Now this is also where you will change your music volume. For the sake of recording, I'm going to turn this down to 16. The game's not copyrighted, YouTube can't really do much about that, so screen setup. Generally good to leave that at on its own. Now, to set up your keys, like for me, I use W, A, S, and D for movement, just because I play more modern games, too. So, that's where you would go to set this up, in the case of most games. 
network game, set up an online game, modem game, serial game, stuff like that. User level selection. Select the level, but you need to have a path. So I don't really mess with that. And once you're set up there, it'll bring you to the actual game. And you'll, you'll be ready to play. So let's play a little bit of Blood, shall we? I do recommend this game to anyone who's never played it before. It's kind of a cult classic. Didn't get a didn't get a lot didn't get bought very much. Pretty but it's an amazing game. There's not much of a story to it. You're playing as a cultist or you're playing as a guy who was raised from the dead and you're killing cultists and zombies cuz well, why not? The, this game is insane as far as weapons go, everything else like that. Like, what you're about to see here, this is a flare gun, and this is just one of the main weapons in the game. There's also a ton of Easter eggs to horror movies and suspense movies. Evil Dead, there's a reference to that in here. There's a reference to The Shining, a re even a reference to Jaws. Um... This game is reminds me a lot of Doom, but with the humor of Duke Nukem. Just to kind of give you an idea of what the game, this game is about. And sorry about the lag spikes, just because I have my frame rate locked in. Perhaps it's doing this. If I don't do that, it older games like this run fine with it, but, and that was, that is blood for you. Well, if this video has helped you, great, if it hasn't, I'm sorry, nothing more I can do. I'll have some videos up later on how to install games and a few more places where you can get them. Well, hope this has helped, and goodbye.